in the life of a technician. There will be mistakes. That sucks. I blew a hole through this. There will be injuries. Craze Performance Repairs YouTube channel. Just yesterday, uh, it was a quick little project that I whipped up for this car. Uh, I did it solely because I can't afford a stinking AC machine. And I built the system, I got a vacuum pump as well, uh, but this could be used as a vacuum pump if needed. Now, it's pretty cool. So what this is, is this is out of a little window AC unit, right? It's an old window AC unit, probably, it might, might be mid to late 90s, I'm not sure. It's a 90s unit though, it's definitely old. I just took the compressor head out of it. I left the dryer filter unit in here. Um, that's the modification I want to make later. I want to add a filter dryer assembly before it goes into here, because this is the low side. So it's always flowing that direction, right? So I have AN fittings adapting everything. I have the gauge fitting up to my gauge set. And uh, when I use my gauge set as a normal gauge set, if I just want to suck free on in without anything else, I can simply undo this fitting right here and hook it to this fitting here. So this is a dash four male, dash four female. And then this here, dash four male, female. And then there's a dash four female and male. So this guy can plug directly onto here to plug this off when not in use. Um, that's another thing I want to mod is throwing some valves in here. And then once the valves are in, I'll be able to just use valving to control which direction it all flows. But I need more free time for that. I don't have the free time. I have enough time to make this video, but I don't have the free time to do the valving. That's going to take me a decent amount of time. So anyway, uh, basically what it is is I use it to put it into this old 134 keg, which I also modified. Uh, this valve here, there's normally a crimp the lip on here, and this crimp lip prevents this from coming out. There is a check valve inside of this, and the check valve in here only allows Freon to exit, not enter. So the crimp deal here, I took my die grinder, I ran it around and cut the crimp off, okay? By removing the crimp on here, I was able to pull this valve out. This was after the tank was fully empty. I was able to pull this valve out, and then I drilled and removed that check valve that was in there. I destroyed it. Um, and by removing that check valve, now I can use it as just a plain old expansion tank. Uh, so I use it to collect and get out any of the Freon that I need to recover. So this tank is now available for that. Uh, being this is on the high side, I have to open these valves first, the low side, to get pressure in the low side, turn on the compressor, and then open this valve. Um, it's a little bit tricky, but the system on this car is full right now. I replaced the part on it, uh, the expansion valve inside there, in, inside where the evaporator core, there we go, evaporator core, uh, where that is, and by replacing that, I was trying to solve a, I thought it was flowing too fast through it, I, the pressures were not different enough. Anyway, so that, that didn't work. I replaced that and now I need to take and suck all the Freon out because it turns out it was the compressor not having enough flow. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see the gauge set and how fast this thing works. I will not speed up the sucking down of this to, to skip over it. I will seriously just let you watch how fast this is. It, this system works so well, it's impressive. I don't know why that thing flows as much as it does, but it flows way more than the systems that you buy, those those ones that you get at the snap-on guy or whatever. Uh, another thing I got to mod, add a switch. So, open these valves first. I'm going to do both, just go as fast as possible so we can watch how fast this goes. Uh, it is 69 degrees in the shop. This is at 65. PSI. This car was outside. It was cooler outside this morning than in the shop, which is surprising. I don't know why it's so cool today, but it is. It's quite nice. It's been hot recently. All right, so that is open. I will plug this in, and then as soon as I plug this in, I will go ahead and open this tank up. 
And you can see how quickly this thing's going down. It's dropping rather fast. Oops, don't want to pull that out too far. You can even see it flowing through the, the glass window here. Hopefully the camera's catching that. But I'm also talking right now just to prove that this thing is not fast forwarded. You're actually watching it live. Uh, so, five, we're down to two, now we're at zero. So now we are actually going into a vacuum. We have pressure on this side and a vacuum on the compressor. That's how good this thing works. I could literally pull the vacuum on this system with this compressor. It works so well. I mean, I don't know how long that took, but we'll find out on the video. Uh, it did not take very long at all to pull the system fully down. Now it's actually surging. So that thing's pulled as much as it can for the pressure difference that's on the other side. So now I have to close the valves and uh, turn it off. Just like that. Uh, the only drawback to the system right now is the simple fact that I don't have the valves in there. So the problem with not having the valves in there is now I have to switch these over as far as their positions in here in order to charge it back up after I replace the parts I'm going to replace, the receiver dryer and the compressor. Um, and when I unplug these, they're going to go, you know, I don't have any kind of valving system yet. So what is in this line and the high side, so this line all the way going up to here, that is going to leak out. Obviously this had a vacuum, so this isn't going to be a problem. It's going to be this. So I close that valve. I'm going to disconnect this line first, right? So that's all coming from this side. This guy here has a... Oh wait, maybe not. I thought it did. No, it's this, it's this end that does. Guess I should have went the other way with it. Um, there is a Schrader valve on these hoses. Yeah, I, I totally did that the wrong way. If I would have done it like this, I would have had a little bit less of a blast come through there because the Schrader valve would have kept the hose pressurized if I did it right, but I totally screwed that up. So I just wasted some Freon. Got a, got a little I breathed in, which probably isn't the best thing in the world. I'm probably going to die of cancer now. According to the state of California, I'm already dead, so we'll go ahead and uh, take these lines, block it off. So I'll take that guy off. Notice I'm using adjustable wrenches. They're all different sizes. We'll put this right on here. Now it'll prevent this thing from getting contaminated while I do all my work. Uh, receiver dryers are, they, they don't like moisture, so there we go. I'll go ahead and throw this back on because obviously I screwed that up anyway. Whatever. I'll uh, get that taken care of later so I got it so it works correctly. But it's still, it's a lot better than just venting the crap and destroying our environment. Um, it's definitely an improvement from what some people do in their backyards. Uh, I'm not going to say because though that's not, not the best thing to do in the EPA or whoever might come after you. Um, I will be improving this very soon to make sure I don't have that kind of issue. That was way too much. Um, I did not like that at all. Uh, so I will fix that and then uh, once that's fixed this system will actually be Perfect. I mean, it'll it'll work really well and I'll be able to recover just about every last drop just Like when you do it in a uh, regular machine when you do a regular machine You always lose a little bit anyhow when you disconnect the lines and stuff. So that's that's kind of normal So I will go ahead and put this thing away and if you enjoy this video Please check out some of my other videos um, like share subscribe I will keep this kind of stuff coming too. I won't just concentrate on the car repairs. I'll do some of this. Maybe I'll uh, start breaking the videos up into other categories. Maybe I'll start a couple different channels or something. We'll see. We'll see how well this goes.